If you tried in the past to install Visual Studio, you already know that it takes a long time. And when I say long time, I mean hours. Now imagine that you must install it to multiple computers, sharing the same internet connection. This is extremely painful. That's why I'm going to show you how to create an offline installer. So first things first, open your favorite web browser. Go to Google and search for Visual Studio 2022. Okay, this is the website we need, and here you can see a button that says Download Visual Studio. Hover it and if you own a license for the Professional or the Enterprise Edition, go for it. I don't, so I'm gonna stick with the Community Edition. The download will automatically start, but if it doesn't you can always click here. Once it's ready, close the web browser and go to your Downloads folder. That's the file we need, and the next step is to rename it to something simpler, but before we do that, click on those three dots here, and then select Options. Click on View tab and then make sure that the hide extensions for known file types is unchecked. Click apply and close the form. That's for Windows 11 users. If you run Windows 10, just click on view tab and make sure that file name extensions option is checked. Rename the file to VS Installer. The next step is to create a downloader. So right click and create a new text document. Erase the name, including the .txt extension and rename it to downloader cmd click yes to accept the change right click on the cmd file and by expanding the options click on edit okay let me fix the windows all right on your text editor type vs installer.exe following by space dash dash layout space double quotes and inside those double quotes we must specify the downloads path so right click on vs installer.exe Choose Properties and copy the location path. Now close the form and paste it between the quotes. There's one more thing we must do before executing the downloader, and that thing is to create a folder for the installation files. We must also include this folder to the installer, so go to the text editor, and right after downloads type backslash vs. Move your cursor right after the quotes, and type space dash dash lang space en dash us you can add your preferred language if you want but make sure it's supported by visual studio save everything and close the text editor you can now execute the file you've just created as you can see it runs this time not as an installer but as a downloader at this point take my advice and go have some coffee or do whatever you need because this process is gonna last for hours depending on your internet connection speed don't waste your time looking at your screen if something goes wrong, you can always run the downloader again. Here we are again and now you can press any key on your keyboard to terminate the command prompt windows. Just press space and wait. You can now delete the files cause you don't need them anymore, and open the VS folder. Scroll down until you see those two executable files. The one we need is the vs underscore setup.exe. Let's run it and install Visual Studio. Click on Yes to allow the app to make changes to your device, and then click Continue to proceed the installation. At this step you can select the workloads you need to install, but since I need a full installation I'm gonna select everything. You can also check the installation details if you like. I'm okay with that and I'll leave it as it is. Once you are ready, go and press Install. Again, this is a lengthy procedure and it's gonna take some time to complete. That was the creation of Visual Studio's installer. If you've learned something from this video, you know what you must do. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye.